Beyond Cool is back and once again a very simple but awesome recipe. My recipe for sausage and egg omelette. It is a hack. We only need to use one frying pan and use simple ingredients that are in your house. A lot of these items are optional so I will let you know which ones you really need and which ones you don't need and of course please leave comments. I love reading your comments and hit that subscribe button. So no further ado, let's begin. So I love green onion. It's one of those things that just makes an omelet taste fresh. Um, so you only need one for this recipe. And just a really quick chop. Um, not anything uh, fancy. And that should take you a couple of seconds. Um, I'm going a lot slower than I usually do. Maybe because I'm talking and cutting at the same time. But good news is we're done. So that's the first thing. So we'll set this aside. And then of course go to our next step. Which is the sausage. The most important ingredient of this recipe. Not the eggs. The sausage. So sausage. I usually like to use Italian homemade sausage. I make my own. It's saran wrap. It's really soft. Um, the reason why is I took it out of the freezer um, the night before and put it in the fridge. Um, what I do is I make Italian homemade sausage. I vacuum pack them, but some of them that I do not vacuum pack, I cut them in half, um, wrap them up in saran wrap, put them in um, the freezer, and then they're awesome for recipes just to kick it up a notch. Saying that aside though, you don't need homemade Italian sausage. You can buy sausage at any grocery store, any sausage that you like. I prefer Italian homemade sausage because of the spices in it. So of course we don't want the casing. Um, so just let's take off the casing. Um, it is a test times. Um, even the ones in the grocery store mostly. Um, I know that there are some other kind of wrappings. It could be collagen. Um, or stuff like that, um, but this is just regular sausage intestine wrapping up the sausage. Now that's gone. That's garbage. Throw it away. Um, if you want to speed it up a little bit faster, you can cut it up in little pieces like this or use your hands. As you can see, it has been defrosted. Then what I'm going to ask you to do is have fun, or if you have some children in the house, um, make little really small little sausage bombs I would call them which is really cool so you're thinking a half a sausage is not a lot it might be too much um, when we put it in the frying pan but I love sausage in my omelette especially Italian sausage especially homemade sausage down the road one of these years love to show you my recipe um, this sausage has very little fat content in it um, but again fat does rule so I don't want you thinking hey it looks super red this sausage another thing is um, I love paprika smoked paprika as you might know and cayenne so there's a lot of that um, sometimes you might in your sausage get a piece of fat you just put it on the side throw it away and of course, keep on wrapping these little meatballs, making them all super cute. Um, again, kid friendly, but they need to wash their hands afterwards um, because of uh, raw meat, especially pork. And hey, this is actually soothing. This is like super soothing. Again, things that make me happy might not make you happy but hey everyone is them themselves you do what you want to do but this is also really cool um, if you want to do, do something and add to your sauce which down the road I'll show you some tricks on making the best um, sauce Sunday sauce I would call it um, when you're craving pasta and look at this we're almost done and this is like super, super, as I said, relaxing. You can have music on the background. Um, 
Um, you could be watching football if it was Sunday um, or evening on Saturday night. Hockey. God bless hockey. And then, of course, eating this can be any time of the day. Of course, it's morning time. Um, this is my, my perfect breakfast that I love to share with everyone. Remember to hit the subscribe button because you'll hear some rants down the road when I make future videos and you want to be one of the first people to get it in your inbox. And guess what? We're done. So next step is of course the eggs. But look at those little baby bombs. They're super cute. If you really want to, you can wrap, you can make them really round. Um, just by putting them in your hand and doing that. So I'm going to do that, but I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to do that off the film and make them all really cute. But you don't need to make them cute. But I'm going to make them cute so there are amazing Italian homemade bombs. Of course. So the first egg is super easy. One. Two. You don't, you don't waste time. Three. Well, that one took a little bit of time. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Having fun. There we go. I'm going to quickly wash my hands because I did have the pork and the eggs. Scrubbing really good with soap. So I save the hand washing right till the end. I'm going to grab the one of the most basic tools in the kitchen, a fork. The sausage has a lot of spices, so I'm only going to put a little pinch of salt in. You don't need too much salt. Uh, most sausage that you buy at a grocery store um, have a lot of salt. I just, just put in some dried parsley. I want you to Google it. The health benefits with dried parsley is unbelievable. I'm not a doctor, but that's why I'm saying check out Google. So that's quick. I like to add a tablespoon of water. And that's just only because it helps um, with very simple. It helps with the eggs to be a little bit fluffy. You can, some people use on YouTube, some people on YouTube use milk. Um, yeah, you can use milk too. And we're ready to go. So let's get to the frying pan, which of course is the fun part. Okay, let's get going. A good frying pan right there, non-stick. Throw these Italian sausage bombs in the frying pan. Yeah, they're so cute. They're so cute. Of course, we have to wash this afterwards really good. Put it on high. You know me. I always love starting with high. Um, you don't need to put anything in there right now. Um, there will be the fat rendering going into the frying pan, which will make it super amazing. The star of the show, the sausage, and of course the egg. And remember, you can put a little bit more parsley flakes in. You don't have to put parsley flakes in. It's your call. And it's still on high. Some people say, hey, you need something underneath the frying pan. So you can do this. You don't have to. Some people like to use butter with their omelet. I just threw in some olive oil. This hack is we're going to use one frying pan for everything and we're just raising up the temperature in this frying pan. I wish I had a gas stove. It will go a lot faster but hey 
I'm happy with what I got. And right now we're just waiting, waiting, and waiting. So this will take approximately two to three minutes to cook. I'll be back in two to three minutes to show you exactly how it looks. And again, when I lower it, I will show you too. So right now it's on eight on a scale of one to 10. I hear the sizzling, which is super cool. Actually, instead of pausing it, you can always fast forward if you want. As you can see, gently. And now because I know it's frying quickly, I put it to five. Because a lot of people are saying, oh no, all the oil, you can't cook on high. Well, for a little bit you can. And there we go. It's beautiful. You know, with my previous videos, I love using this. <laughs> we will, so you don't have to worry. Yikes. Oh, look at this. So nice. Look at these little flavor bombs. Having fun. This is amazing. You can't go wrong with this. So I want you to see it a lot closer. As you can see, you can see that there's olive oil, but also the juice from the sausage. They're starting to get a little bit darker. There's still a little bit pink in them. Don't worry, we're going to also, going to make sure that the sausage is not raw. And of course, it's on medium. And that, that right there, the, mix the olive oil, from the juices of the sausage is going to flavor up this omelet amazingly. I don't really need to churn them that often, but hey, I like the how it looks. Super cool. So as you can see, the sausage is starting to get a little browner. <laughs> which is super cool. And some people like to press down. Um, everyone has their own little thing. But we're ready to add the eggs, which is the best part of combining the sausage and egg. A lot of people take the sausage out or cook the egg in another frying pan. Um, we're gonna do it all at once, all at the same time. There, we want those juices. Some people might instead move it like this, which is also cool. And they're getting to a nice brown, crispy cover. Not too crispy, but you can see that it's working. And everyone always wants to make sure that their meat is well cooked. Now time for the eggs. I'm going to raise it up a little bit more just to get the frying pan all crazy good. I'm going to move this. Don't worry. 
don't worry. We're going to, if you want to make a perfect circle, you just have to move it around. I kind of am really careful with my frying pan. If you want, you can move the sausage without scraping the bottom with your fork, even though I says forks are bad. It's Remember, it's now on super high. Okay. I'm going to put it back to five, medium. And depending on your element, that side is almost cooked, ready to be flipped. Some people like to fold it. If you see my previous video on a cheese omelet, I showed you the Las Vegas style. Haha, <laughs> that's my words. I'm just using the wooden spoon to get some of the juices at the bottom. It's looking amazing. It's not sticking, as you can see. Technically, we might not even need to use this. I'm going to get, I'm going, I want a full omelet, a full omelet. So, so, I want you, oh, I wasn't supposed to use that. I picked the first thing I saw. We want it to look beautiful on both sides. So what I love to do is go like this. Some people like to flip it, but all I do is put it in a plate, another hack, and look at this, okay? And then really quickly flip it and voila. <laughs> this is almost done. Oh, look, a sausage got away. Ha 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 ha. I'm eating it. Oh, it's so good. So, it's done. Uh, it's still on five. Some people might, some people might um, turn off the oven, I mean oven, the element and let it sit a little bit longer so it will keep it warm and also it will cook it a little bit more underneath but hey it, it cooked through it's ready to go everyone kind of looks different but if we go really close really close you'll see the green specks and the omelette of course, some sausage you might see also. I love to put this in a fresh Italian bun for even lunch and put it in the fridge and you can have a awesome omelet sandwich. You can eat it like this hot. Um, what I like to do, again, I didn't forget, didn't forget the green onions that we chopped off up. So, oh, another sausage got away. That's mine. Delicious. So, the uh, element is really hot. Um, it's off. You can keep it warm like that. Another little quick hack. And I just like the freshness of green onions because we're using dried ingredients and eggs and sausage. This is just me just kicking it up a notch. You don't, you don't need to do this. Um, some people might have put it in the omelet, um, but then it doesn't have that fresh taste as much because the heat will zap it really quickly. Um, this will also taste really good, also. Um, but it's whatever works for you. Look at this. You can't go wrong. Make sure make sure you hit the subscribe button. I have all these great hacks that I'm willing to share down the road. Always, 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 always remember that this is protein packed breakfast. It could be for lunch. It could be for supper. You could do so many great things and also looks cool. 
that's the best part. So once again, leave a comment, hit that like button, and hit subscribe. So the bonus is to see the underneath. Perfectly beautiful. Um, that would have moved the onions around. That's okay. I could just do that. But I want to show you that it was perfectly cooked throughout. The best part is you just need any butter knife and um, and then I like to make it look like a pizza for myself. Look at that beautiful baby. Where's my fork? Oh my gosh. The sausage is amazing. It's just the right amount of spice. I could taste the parsley. Um, and the fresh green onions. Just give it that fresh taste. Hey, one frying pan, no need to switch. Everything comes out. This is a amazing showstopper. Something super healthy, super easy to make, and of course, delicious. See you soon.